Today I'm going to show you how to automate appointment reminders for your customers using NA10. Let's say you have a calendar event, for example a dentist appointment, and you want to send an SMS one hour before that event. NA10 will automate the entire process so you don't have to manually text your clients. All you need is an NA10 account that will handle the automation and also a Twilio account with a phone number to send out the SMS messages. To get started, let's open up NA10. And once you're on the platform, click on Create Workflow. And once you open the workflow, we need to add the first node, which will be a trigger node. So let's click on add first step and look for schedule trigger. And here we have the option to schedule our automation. So the way this is going to work is we are going to run this every hour and we will check for calendar events for the upcoming hour. So you can see that you have the options here to select the intervals for how often you want the automation to run. Initially it is selected to days but we are going to select hours and you can also select the hours between triggers we are going to run this every hour so i'm just going to leave it as one and you can also select the minute for example if you want to run it at 1 15 pm you would set this at 15 but i'm just going to leave it at zero we can do a test run and it retrieves some data so we can close this and the next module will be a Google Calendar module because we are going to fetch all the upcoming events for the next hour. So let's click on this plus sign and look for Google Calendar. And we need to select the Get Many Events. Obviously, you need to authenticate your Google account. I already did that. So I just had to select my calendar from the list. So let's click on Select Calendar and I'm going to select my email address. We can turn on return all, so it will return all the event, not just 50. And we can leave the after values as it is. So what it's going to do is it's going to check the calendar events between now and one hour after the current date. So this will get all the events between two dates, from the current date to the current date plus one hour. This is how my Google Calendar looks like. I added a name, I added the service, which is teeth cleaning, and I also added a phone number. So let's go back to NA10 and let's try running the workflow. Click on test workflow. You can see that it retrieved the event. We have the teeth cleaning appointment. We also have the phone number and the name, but this is not completely correct. What we need to do is to check if the event starts after the current date, but before the current date plus one hour, which means it starts within the next hour. So let's add another node, which will be an if node. And here we need to provide a couple of conditions. Firstly, we need to check if the start date is equal or after the current time. So let's find the start date. We can drag it in. Let's open up the dropdown. And at the date and time section, we need to find is after or equal to. And here we can add the current date. So let's click on the expression. And here we can just say dollar sign now. This is a built-in variable in NA10, and this will get us the current date. We also need to add one more condition. We need to check if the start date is before the current date plus one hour. So let's drag the date time again. We can leave the end operator, and let's open up this dropdown again. And at the date and time section, let's find is before. And what we need to do here, let's switch to expression. And let's select now. And let's say dot plus curly braces hour one. So this will be the current date plus one hour. And with this node, we ensure that the start date of the event will be between the current date and the current date plus one hour. So within the upcoming hour, we can close this. And next, I'm going to add an LLM. We are going to feed all the information from the calendar event to this LLM, and we will return a structured output with a phone number, name, and service. So if it's true, let's click on this plus sign, and let's look for advanced AI, basic LLM chain. For the source for prompt, let's select define below. But before I do that, I'm going to attach a model. You can use OpenAI or OpenRouter. I'm going to use OpenAI chat model and I connected my account. You also need to do that. You need to get your organization ID and API key from platform.openai.com. And for the model, we can use GPT-4 mini because we are not going to do a difficult operation. So once you have that, let's go back to the LLM chain and we are going to write a very simple prompt, which will be 
you will receive a description of a calendar event. Your task is to collect the following information. And we need to get the name, phone number, the service, and the date. And also let's define to return the date in the following format. And we will need to get hours, minutes, AM or PM. Let's also enable require specific output format. And let's add a user prompt. Select user and let's say here are the details. To have some data, let's close this and do a test run. Now we will have the calendar event data. So let's click on expression. And now we can drag in all the data from the calendar event. So we can say date of the event. Let's drag the date time. We will also need the description of the event. And let's find the description on the left side. Let's drag it. And lastly, we need to add an output parser so we can define how we want the output to look like. So let's click on this output parser and select structured output parser. And we will need to have a name. Let's provide an example, John. We will also need a phone number, which will look like this. We need to have this service. Barber. And finally, we will need the date. 11 p.m. Now we can close this and let's run the workflow. Now we can open the basic LLM chain and you will see the structured output that we received. I have the name, phone number, the service, and I also have the formatted date. So let's close this. And now we need to add an HTTP module and this will handle sending the SMS messages to the client. So let's click on add node and look for HTTP. We need HTTP request and we can open up the Twilio documentation. Don't forget to create an account and you also need to buy a phone number, but you can have a trial phone number. You will receive $15 worth of trial credit. And with a trial phone number, you can still make calls or send messages. And you will also have an API key and SID, everything that we will need here. So let's open the documentation and you need to find message resource. And if we go down a little bit, we will see the endpoint that we need to use. Here it is, create a message resource. So we need to send a post request to this endpoint. I'm just going to copy this and go back to NA10. Let's paste this in. Switch to expression because we need to use a variable instead of the account SID. Let's switch the method to post. And you need to get your account SID from Twilio console. I'm going to paste in my SID. And for the authentication, what you need to do is click on this drop down and select generic credential type. And let's select basic out. I already authenticated my profile, but what you need to do is click on this pencil button. And here your user will be your Twilio account SID and the password will be your Twilio out token. And once you have that, that means your account is authenticated. So you can use this endpoint freely. So let's scroll down a little bit and enable send body. And for the body content type, you need to select form URL encoded. If you go back to the documentation, you can find that it should be form URL encoded. What we also need to provide is a two, which will be the recipient's phone number. We need to provide a from, which will be our phone number, our Twilio phone number. And we need to provide the body. This will be the text of the message. So let's go back to N8 and let's add two. This will be the recipient's phone number, which will come from the basic LLM chain. We can just drag it in. Let's add another parameter. This will be from, and this will be our phone number. And let's add one more parameter, which will be the body. And here I'm going to write hi name. 
this is a friendly reminder of your upcoming and let's drag in the service appointment at and we can drag in the date and we can also add looking forward to see you and now we can try this out so i'm going to click on test workflow i received the message you can see that I was testing it before, but this is what I received today. So this is working. And there's one more thing you have to do. You need to activate your workflow. And this will ensure that your schedule will trigger every hour. And that's it for today. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I will share the workflow in my resource app. You can find it in the comment section and also in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.